So I am here with Mr. Lucas Pope, who's up for how many awards for the return of Oprah Den? Six. Six. That's not too bad. That's, that's quite a few. Yeah, not too bad. If you absolutely had to pick one that you would really like to win, which one would it be? Oh, uh, maybe innovation. Yeah? Yeah. Why? It's just... Uh, Sort of, I, when I make my games, I think about innovation, sort of doing something different from other people. Is one of my first sort of thoughts when I'm thinking about a new game or what I want to design. Mm -hmm. I genuinely think Oberton. I mean, it, it was incredibly innovative. I mean, we chatted about this before, but um, I mean, the fact that nothing ever moves and it just feels so energetic yeah. and it's it's really great. What I mean, if you had to pick one part of that game that you are particularly proud for having done, what would it be? Uh, probably the visuals. Uh, the I, my original concept for the game was was nothing about the ship. It was just I wanted to make a, a one bit 3D game, and uh, in the end, I was very happy with how it turned out visually. Just uh, the style and um, the way I was able to use the lighting and the scenes and everything. I, I was pretty happy with that in the end. How do you begin to map out the script? Because obviously, it's very narrative driven yeah. how do you begin to map out the script for that game is it literally you know linear to begin with and you kind of start breaking it out like this guy's going to have an irish accent this guy's going you know what i mean yeah that, that's a good question but for a pretty long answer on that one mm. basically i oh, i realized yeah, that i i had 60 people i needed to kill them in interesting ways <laughs> And so I kind of broke it down from a high level of, okay, first there's going to be these disasters. Each disaster will kill, you know, a couple guys. Uh -huh. And then work that into a high-level story and then break that down into each of those chapters. How am I going to make it interesting each time? Because I didn't want people dying in the same way. I wanted okay. to sort of surprise the player with new ways, new sort of events that happen. Um, and work down my way down like that. And then story elements would get added with, I needed clues here or clues there. Or I needed a character... Um, uh, in this place or in that place, and sort of would work into the story as I as I went along. Yeah, I never thought about that before. You're literally like George R. R. Martin. You literally you had to figure out a lot of a ways lot to, to kill, kill people. people. <laughs> yeah, in interesting ways. Uh, so it couldn't be just pirates, you know, or guys shooting yeah. each other the whole time. I needed to kind of mix it up. What was your favorite single scenario? Because I'm trying to think now. Which, how did you kill off lots of people? Like the the mermaids, obviously. That I liked the bit where we actually Spoilers. got. Yeah. Spoilers, sorry. Uh, yeah, my favorite death is one where actually you can't move very much. You're in a very confined space, and you think it's a kind of relatively simple death where somebody bleeds out. Uh, but if you pay a little bit of attention, you sort of notice there's these holes you can look through and see a lot more crazy shit going on. So that one was pretty satisfying. Yeah. I love it because there were bits where I felt super smart because when you can go around the corner and just get that little, yeah, little bit, bit of information, extra information, yeah. like yeah. it must have been quite satisfying to get those bits just right. Yeah, that's one of the things I liked about the core design was that I could put those little... which. Those little things I could add them, which are very easy, just put those in the yeah. scene, but they added a lot and they were uh, uh, important for the gameplay as well. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you think about the other nominees tonight? Have you got any favorites? Uh, they're all fantastic. I mean, I think God of War has got to be an easy favorite uh, for a lot of categories, so that's, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that. But also, there's a lot of great indie games uh, yeah. this year, so that's good to see as well. Yeah. I loved, um, I mean, there's Donut County, Celeste, yeah. like Florence, so good. Yeah, like, Florence is fantastic, yeah. Um, but BAFTA, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? Well, it means the UK weather here coming out, enjoying the, uh, <laughs> the ceremony. Freezing yeah, it's freezing cold. Uh, yeah, it means a lot of things, I guess. Uh, it's great to be here. Well, have a fantastic night, and we will see you later. Okay, thanks very much.